grip change, changing grips at the net. When it comes down to there is no perfect grip, there's a grip with the least amount of adjustment. That's, that's key. The grip determines the angle of the racket face. The angle of the racket face determines the angle of the racket path. Think of stage development. Would you really want some young player who's 12 years old to go up to the net and try to volley with a continental grip? The wrist is in front, the racket face is open, the racket face is facing cross court. Because the racket face is open, the player has to be programmed to play the ball late so they can't close in. Now granted, a, a top player, strong athlete can raise their elbow, contort their wrist, get the racket face vertical, and yes, 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 you can volley with a continental grip, and top players volley with a continental grip. But we have to ask ourselves in tennis, is it just because of the speed of the ball, because of the advanced technology that players don't go to the net? Players don't go to the net for many, many reasons. One, is there such an emphasis on winning at an early age? Now we find that players aren't even going to the net when they play doubles. But coming back to grip change, when you organize your feet, when you split step up at the net, you want to organize yourself with a forehand grip. If you're a younger player, that would be the grip on number three. If you're an older player, a stronger player, it would be a composite. The composite grip is a com combination of continental and eastern. It was referred to for years as the Australian grip. And that's because the great Australians came in, they volleyed on the forehand side with a composite grip. With time, when the ball's coming to you as a passing shot, you have less time when it's a passing shot versus a lob. The lob is higher. So when you're at the net and you're in a composite grip, as an advanced player, ball goes up high, you have to hit with a continental. So you have to use your left hand and make a grip change here. When you volley on the backhand side, even though there's not as many drawbacks volleying with a continental on the backhand side, you still want to be in a position. Instead of having the racket face be open in this manner, I'm just going to turn my knuckle a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of an inch, and now the racket face is in this position. So, what takes more time? Where A, I change my grip, or B, I don't change my grip. And that argument comes from Dennis Vandermeer. They take the same amount of time. You just have to be conditioned, you have to be trained to make this movement. For years and years, I heard Vic Braden say, sit in a chair, take five days for five minutes. Go from bent to bent, straight to straight. There's eight panels of a rack on the racket. Your right hand turns in a quarter, your left hand turns in a quarter. So you just go like this with your, with your, with your hands. This hand turns down, this hand turns in, in this position. Think of the player who plays basketball. They take the ball and they're taught very quickly to make this chest pass. It's not a matter of just changing your grip. You have to change your arm position. You have to turn your shoulders. You're not going to hit a volley like this. No body rotation, arm bent. It's bent to bend on the forehand. It's not bent to bend on the backhand. Granted, if a ball's hit right at you, you have to do that. But you want to do three things simultaneously. You're going to turn your shoulders, you're going to change your grip, and straighten your arm. And you have to be motivated to say, okay, I'm going to practice that in this position. So there is time to change your grip. You just have to be conditioned to do it. And it comes down to practice, practice, practice. You have to practice. You have to be willing to do it off the court. And then we'll show you some drills on the court where you feed very quickly and a player just goes forehand back in. But every time they get ready, they're in this position with a composite grip. So they only have to change their grip for a reactive shot going to the backhand side.